Hey you, it's Jess here and welcome back to my channel. I apologize for my voice, but I'm sick. I'm at the tail end <clears throat> of being sick. So there might be some weird cuts in here as I will try and cut out as much as anything as possible. But yeah, hopefully it sounds okay. But I did get a bunch of um, heavy mail in, so I wanted to haul it and put it away. So everything will be timestamped down below as well as linked. Let's get straight into it. Um, not too much fussing about this time. First, I just wanted to quickly um, haul this Archer and Olive notebook. Um, I, yeah, I wanted to pick up something from their like Halloween a holographic release. And we needed a notebook for our board game um, campaigns and legacy games, uh, whereas where you constantly play sort of the play the same game, but continue on after each like game. Um, I'm saying game a lot, but <laughs> basically we started playing this game called Charterstone, which you play like um, 60 minute sessions each time and each time you sort of progress further into the game but we can't remember what we we're doing previously <laughs> each time we play it so i picked up this notebook so we can keep records of all our campaigns and legacies um and just keep an eye on like what we're actually doing so once we finish a game we'll jot down what happened in it and then next week the next time we play it we'll have a record of what happened so I just picked up this one. It is um, Duck Grid, 160 pages. You know, typical Archer and Olive, uh, but it has this beautiful holographic like potion and snake in a bottle. And it is holographic on the... Um, I always forget what this is called. I should know, considering I had a whole chapter of my thesis about books. But um, <laughs> anyway... Yeah, it's just a simple notebook and it's really just for keeping, I like how it's got little bookmarks. But this is for keeping our um, <clears throat> board game info all nicely tucked away so we can remember exactly what we were up to each week. So <clears throat> I just picked that up. I just wanted like a nice notebook to go with it just so it's like an extra special for our gaming, but that is our Trinolive. Next, I have a couple of the SPC Edit Planners from Print Pression. Um, I got the black and the white. Oops, here they are. But um, I think they were just checked by my US in the mail. But yeah, this is the black one, and these A5 wide size, and they are perfect for well, they intended to do memory keeping in, so you could put journaling cards in here, and you can like do just a setup, and then you're all good for the year, and then keep your years inserts in here. And uh, I really do like that idea. And I have a few like um, put away planners already. I think starting 2020. Um, that I don't love the planners they put away in, so I was considering like changing them across. But I haven't actually got a black planner yet, so I was excited for that. And I got a new white one. Oh, just some um, packaging there. Yeah, I think my US had a look at the black one just to see what they were. But they come with the um, the nice dust bag and everything for compression. So this is the white one. It's got a nice big pebble and they just have gold on the inside that looks really nice um yeah i just wanted a little bit more variety and uh, i really like this design obviously it was made with andrea and kane together and kane just has like these sort of um more neutral colors available in his shop and then andrea will have more like interesting colors and i think it'll just be a really fun collab and they're just really simple planners that you can store your planner stuff in. But I have ideas for the setups. Like I want to do permanent setups inside of them. Um, and mostly using um, the artist Sonia Stegerman's 
stuff like her patreon boxes like uh but this month it was monster high so i think i'm gonna put that in the black one i think it'll be really cute but um those are just the planners i just want to show you that i picked those up in black and white and um yeah i'm really excited to get into them and uh, give it get a feel for them over time next i just want to show you some uh like non-planning stickers that i picked up this first one is from an artist on Etsy and they'll be linked but they're called the Nerdy Alchemist and I actually um, was following them on Twitter because I was trying to find all the positive rings of power people on Twitter which is not impossible but there's a lot of horrible people on Twitter for rings of power honestly. They kind of just enjoy a show for what it is, but <laughs> this artist does, and they had a bunch of really cute Lord of the Rings as well as Rings of Power um, like stickers in their shop and really, really good art. So I picked up a bunch and uh, from her shop, but look at, she gave me this cute little sketch as a thank you. Like this is an actual sketch with pencil and it's an adorable little Elrond with a Kirby. <laughs> <laughs> like I'll run for rings of power like oh it's so cute but um, I was mainly drawn by this final sticker of this little Elrond oh my god I just I love Elrond in the new show he's just such a sweet little buttercup um, as he's described to be uh, in by Tolkien so I love that adorable and then she had this pack I don't know if I know these two aren't um, she had this pack of like, maybe I got this one separately, but she had a pack of like, um, like silly actual behind the scenes pictures of Lord of the Rings and then she made them into stickers. Um, so I got some of those, like Ian McKellen is kind of on his laptop. <laughs> so cute. These are like um, premium matte sticker paper, I think. We have... Um, Again, Ian McGallan, but he's got his little umbrella. These are some amazing photos, and I love these as stickers. Like, um, at this parade they did, uh, and it's got Nazgul school with their puppy. <laughs> and then you have um, Thranduil, it's me, Anastasia. You know, like from Anastasia. Oh my god, I love that scene. I love where Thranduil does that in the behind the scenes. And then you have Legolas in a little, um, ducky <laughs> and then he <laughs> yeah just like this you know they're the party um, elves so oh and this one's great when he it's like a behind the seats and he's wearing like the bandana and, um, over his wig <laughs> that's so funny and I got this one of Sam and Frodo on a scooter like that is so adorable <laughs> And then she had these two Kirby ones, and I couldn't resist because it's Kirby with a cross. I freak I love it. It's so cute. But yeah, I had to pick up these stickers because they're all adorable. And I'm on my Lord of the Rings, Rings of Power craziness right now. But that is the Nerdy Alchemist. She has a bunch of really cute nerdy stickers. And I just love them. And then these are from Taylor Ryan Design and these are like washi stickers and I picked them up. They're like for journaling and I picked them up for my um, uh, my reading journal for next year because this has more of the vibes of that. Uh, but I did get this freebie of some washi strips that she made. But I just picked up some very simple stuff. Autumn flowers and I like how it looks like they're stuck in. And this is like washi paper like as if it's washy and I think that'll look really good I like the clear idea for um I like clear mat I guess for my reading journal just to layer these in so beautiful butterflies and then I do pick up these um scaly hands and flowers because um the whole look for my reading journal is like a nightcore medieval um dark academia look so I think those will go really well and I think you probably will see a setup a little bit in Plaidmas and then probably in January but it's just sort of a reading journal I'm enjoying collecting for myself but that is 
Taylor Ryan design if you're into that more that kind of um, stickers definitely go check them out then I have an order from Kali Plans with a bunch of custom scripts because uh, I wanted to get some and then we have just thank you for your support from Kali we have some freebies here so we have the October freebie apologies if my filming is weird I'm out of it <laughs> we can't tell those are really cute and then we have the 15 plus with some uh, more like Christmas stuff on there and then the 30 plus which is the November colors um, and then yeah so here are the scripts that I got I got a couple that were like new releases and then just a bunch of customs so I got the hotel bucket list in font 5 and I like I have no um, hotel stickers nor have I ever really so that was useful and then she brought out her own voiceover so that was perfect I got that in font 4 and then she brought out Dreamlight Valley which is hilarious because I had to order that um, I put Drew My Valley in as a custom and then I just never bought the order and then she brought it out herself. So I did get to, uh, I got this on sale for the new release sale, so that was awesome, but Drew My Valley. I probably have to buy a couple more sheets of that because, let's be real, <laughs> I'll be playing it a lot. So, but that's that in point five. And then I got a bunch of TV shows. So first of all, I got Foundation. A lot of these are Apple TV Plus shows, which should be coming back soon. So we have, and they are weekly, so I'm more likely to use like more stickers for them. So we have Foundation, which is a really good um, high sci-fi with Lee Pace. So if you just want to watch a show where Lee Pace is half naked every episode, that I highly recommend Foundation. And there's really cool like um, cool like uh, time travel and. I think called Psycho History, which is really fun. I love history stuff. And then they also have um, cloning and things, so that's fun. Then we have ER, which I got in the font 6 because I thought it would need to be a bigger, thicker font for ER, but I still have plenty left to watch. And then Locke was like, I'm interested in rewatching it. So um, it's like it'd be a show where we would rewatch. So I decided to get some scripts just to save myself from writing ER constantly. <laughs> then I got King of the Hill. Um, it's not out here in Finland, but we have copies of King of the Hill. It is on Disney Plus, I believe, um, normally. And we love King of the Hill, so I'm going to get that. And this is another Apple TV show, Invasion. And it's about a global alien invasion, and it's told from the stories of um, a group of people in Japan, a group of kids in UK, a soldier in, I think, Iraq, not Afghanistan, and a family in the US. And it's like literally filmed across those countries. And it's just a really cool, different way to do an alien invasion. So I got invasion. Of course, I had to get severance. Another Apple TV, I can't wait for this to come back, it was so good. It's like, um, it's like this group in an office business where basically as soon as you enter the office building, your entire past history, your entire self as a person is like cut out. There's like two parts of you and you're a completely different person at work. So when you get into work, you don't know anything about your outside life. And then when you go back out at the end of the workday, you don't remember anything that happened to you in your work life. And you're like completely separate people or severance. You're severed. And it's a really cool idea. So severance. Then I picked up Doom Patrol because that's coming back soon. And it's like my favorite DC TV show. Highly recommend it's on HBO. If you want something weird, like if you're into the Suicide Squad, um, or if you're into like One Division and stuff, I highly recommend Doom Patrol because it's just weird AF, and they're kind of anti-heroes, but you love all of them despite being <laughs> not the best heroes. Um, it's kind of like a a group of freaks basically, 
but you love all of them and lots of crazy stuff happens and one of the big side characters is Billy the Street and they, they are literally a sentient street that people live on and they're non-binary and they're hunted down by the government and I just love Billy the Street but also all the characters I love them all so Doom Patrol and Brendan Fraser's in this by the way um this is like his first thing back and he's mostly a voice because his character gets turned into a robot and it's just his brain inside of a robot but you get plenty of Brendan Fraser in the show and it's so good and then I got The Witcher because I'm looking forward to I actually really want to re-watch the last two seasons because I feel like the binging just didn't work for the show because I barely remember it I think it really should be watched weekly which is kind of annoying but maybe Netflix I think I thought they were changing that up and they're changing to weekly but I think the witch would be so much better um, spread out rather than binged but I do want to rewatch that and then the last of the Apple shows a mythic quest love this show probably rewatch it uh, but it's coming back in December I think or November one of those but love mythic quest it is about people who uh, made a really popular MMO video game and just all the trials and tribulations of that and it's really funny it's from the always sunny guys so really enjoy that but those are all the scripts I got from Carly Plans and I should say all of the rest of these were font for because I just like how simple and like handwriting it is but that is everything from Carly Plans Next, I have a small foil order from Planet Choco. So this is some um, holiday stuff, I feel like Christmas stuff came out. Oh, I also picked up these got red blood splatter um, blood holes. <laughs> Hall reinforcers to go with my scream spread because I didn't really have any hall reinforcers for it. So I picked those up to put those in. Um, but yeah, so I wanted to try out because I heard her 15 millimeter bottom washies were now actually 15 millimeter. I think before they were like closer to 13, honestly. Uh, but yeah, I think these definitely look like 15 millimeters to me. I think, yeah, that looks good. So, Elizabeth Planet Choco's size is all fixed up. I don't know if her older designs will, but her newer designs, yeah. So, I got the gingerbread in silver and in light gold. Like those, those are cute. Oh, this is my freebies with some snowflakes. Snowflake stuff. Um, and then I got, um, oh. I'm surprised I didn't get these in hollow. I guess I just got the, um, oh, it's probably because I wasn't thinking of putting any Christmas stuff in hollow, but I was for this. Anyway, the snowflake hollow reinforcers, which I got in the three foils. I think it's because they're snowflakes and I got a lot of snowflake stuff in hollow, so why not? Um, and then I got these really cute gingerbread, again, the retro quotes, which are my favorite right now. With gingerbread kisses and Christmas wishes, um, cookie baking crew, cookie, cookie baking master, and baking spirits bright. Those are really cute. So I got those in silver and light gold. Um, but yeah, love them. Love Planet Chaka as per usual. She's become like the go-to for the like special themed stuff to add to spreads. So loving that. Let's plan a choco. Okay, now I have stuff here from Caress Press. I won't get into all of it because I think you've seen a lot of this, but I first, she re-released her Jingle Bells um, bundle, which she had last year. But she brought out in her new um, format with the extra boxes and she also brought out in different fo foils. So you have like, I think this is actually Champagne Lights or at least a chunkier version of it. Really, really cute. So I got two of those. Then I got two, picked up two of these sparkly red versions. You can really see the bundle here. I love sparkly red the most. 
And then she had some, is this, I think, old snowflake? There's this new, there's new snowflakes. Um, we just have these in sparkly hollow. Real pretty. Two of those. I picked up these in like a, it's a wine or something. It's like a darker red. Really pretty there. I know you can see um, Andrew shows this in her scream um, plan with me. Um, but yeah, that's really pretty just in that simple glimmer. I got two of those. Then I got Jingle Bells in normal gold, in hollow, in rose, and in silver. Oh, and in sparkly hollow here. It's a bit of a chunkier sparkly hollow. So those are all the um, uh, foil bundles that I got. My brain, my gosh. I'm getting a bit hot now, a bit run down already. Um, but I'll show you the kits that I got. I got the December monthly in Noel, and I think I bought this kit too. Um, is that the same one here? Yes. Uh, but I th this is going to be my memory planner, but I think I'm going to use Noel in my pre-planner during Planmas. But yeah, this is the monthly kit, super simple, everything you need available, all the holidays. I just get the checklist because I like to be a bit more functional. So that is the monthly kit. <clears throat> then I picked up Holly Jolly. I picked them up from both SPC and Gross Press because I wasn't sure which one I wanted to use. But I love it, the way this one came out, so bright, very bright and warm, and I loved all the full boxes too. So Holly Jolly was like my traditional art for this year. I like to try and do like a warm, cozy, traditional. Um, and this felt really English to me, although we have a biscuit plate here, which is very American, like, I don't... We don't have biscuits outside of America unless you're making actual scones, but um, yeah. But I just thought the tray looked so cute and I liked the way it kind of came together. So I did that. Um, and like we got, this is more, uh, so the idea was like Christmas brunch um, and like Christmas morning. So you have like the presents under the tree and. Um, the, there's a bite taken out of the cookie for the dear Santa cookies and milk and you got like pancakes and everything um, I don't think we ever did a big breakfast for Christmas we did big lunches and dinners but I think it'd be really cute I picked up this brunette girl and she's holding um, a tray of cinnamon buns or cinnamon rolls and these are the extra boxes so you have uh, the kitchen which just came from last year's kit, but by the time I went to draw the kitchen for this kit, I was just like, I can't, I can't be bothered drawing another kitchen. <laughs> so I recolored it, but I think it came out really nicely, and I, I think this kitchen went well with this kit. Uh, and then we have like French toast, and I thought it'd be cool to do like those hot chocolates, but in a slow cooker, like a crock pot. So that's what that is, and then you have like your mugs to fill up with the hot chocolate. So, you know, you're feeding a lot of people for brunch, so I thought that's a cool idea. Um, did the hot chocolate in the slow cooker. Then you have, like, a toolbox of the kitchen. I got the 15 millimeter, which is this fun green. This is a bit more bright and fun at Christmas than I've usually done. Um, but yeah, I thought I wanted to make a bit more cozy, a little 90s leaning with these colors. Um... Oh, I like how she used the hot chalk <laughs> pattern for this one. Um, and you got like the coffee press and the little jug of milk. But yeah, I've been wanting to do like a foodie Christmas. And it always gets sort of turned into another thing. Like this got turned to brunch. And then my foodie one for last year got turned into gingerbread. Which is kind of funny. But And then you have like the pajamas and the reindeer um, slippers. So I think that turned out really cute and cozy, but bright. And there's a lot of foil that will go with this, like those Holly Jolly ones, and like even in the red. 
would look cute with this. But there's also the red and green from SPC, so there's a lot of choices. Then I picked up Noel, and was this exclusive to Caress Press? I'm not sure, but it's a fun modern. This actually makes me think of when we were in um, England in November, December with family, and this makes me think of this restaurant we went to that's also kind of a barn and also had lots of like this kind of stuff you could buy. Um, it was around around Farnham, um, Berkshire kind of area. So that's what it makes me think of, uh, even though this is like snowy mountains, but I don't know, for some reason, this makes me think of that area in England. You got extra box with some baubles, the 15 millimeter. I didn't pick up too many extras of this because I think I am putting it in my pre-planner, but it's really pretty and um, very like, Actually, the the brown really makes it a bit more traditional to me. <clears throat> like a little less cutting edge modern, a little bit more cozy. But yeah, it makes me think of South England for some reason <laughs> in this season. And then I got the October Mystery called Snowbound. And um, yeah, I just thought it was a really fun, cute, uh, snowy kit. Uh, obviously, it's like a chalet or something but I thought it'd be really cute and I have I lived through a lot of snow these days it snows pretty much up until April so or including April so I'll have plenty of uses for plenty of snowy kits uh, but it looks really fun it looks like there's a hot pot here which is always delicious I think the last time I had hot pot was Singapore but that was so good you get the fur, that's really fun. I didn't pick up any extras for that. So, did I really pick up, except for the 15, yeah. Bit more simple, and I wasn't really interested in the fashion people, so. But that is um, everything I got from Caress Press. I love it all as per usual. All right, finally for this haul, we have Scribble Prince Co. Um, and just a couple of orders and the November mystery, but I'll show you my freebies. First we have 275 plus in this really nice um, cooler gray. Sorry, cooler gray. <laughs> and then we actually have my freebie in black, which you can see all my favorite things on here, including Heidi. And then I have freebie from Jaku Plants which I don't know why I always look because hello, it's the one with the tooth. <laughs> and then I got a freebie pack of the Slay and Snowflake freebies. You get all five foils in there. And I just have a rose full uh, matte box thingy there. And then I picked up the next lot of dates for kit planning. And I picked up the um, light basically white or super light gray um, color of the week from the doodles a good one to have I think I really love the way the black logo looks on the gray <laughs> I just like the way it looks very clean so that is all 10 sheets of that and then I got a little Kirby because I do like Kirby and then I got some of the doodles. I picked up this older sheet of rings because I thought they'd be perfect for marking. Very much rings of power and stuff like that. So I use less of my actual Lord of the Rings characters and the rings really work and they're really pretty. Um, and then I picked up the new sticker sheet with like um, an actual sticker kit. Then we have like the notebook will be great for journaling. All filling out our gaming book. Then we have the open planner. We have the cute little birthday cake, present cake thing. We have the pretty blouses. I thought it would be good for shopping or doing laundry. We got like the heart with the lipstick. Real cute. And then I got the laptop with the 
mug and planner just for a different laptop design so those are the doodles that I picked up and then I got some foil bundles they go this way uh, first I got the new snowflake design and you get like snowflake bougie boxes in it um, really pretty so I got sparkly hollow silver is that silver? what? Did I get two silvers? I guess I did. Um, or well, two sparkly hollows, two silvers, <clears throat> and a and a light gold. A gold. I don't know if there'll be more in here. They're all a bit mixed up. <laughs> then I got black. Then I got some older. Um, let me get to the older ones in a minute. Then I picked up the new shimmer in matte bronze and rose. Really cute. Mixed metal, I got two of those. And then I picked up some older ones because I felt like I used up a lot of the black um, this <clears throat> recently with the Halloween stuff. So I picked up the um, stars in black as well as the sparkle in black, two of those. And then I was looking for this one and I guess I used it at some point, but it's rose, but it's the flowers. But yeah, I really wanted to use it for a past kit, so I picked those up just to have them in my collection again, because uh, you can never have enough. And then kit-wise, you just have two little Christmas kits. I haven't been spending that much on Christmas. Um, I was, I pretty much haven't over overspent at all for it, so I'm pretty happy with that. I've just bought what I've like needed. <clears throat> but this is the SPC version of Holly Jolly, so you can see a difference here if you wanted to look at the sort of color difference. I like the different take on it. So, um, depends on what kind of mood you're going for. I think it's always nice to see the difference and how like art can really change between shops and how they use them. <clears throat> but this one's really cute too. I don't know which one I'm going to use. I'm still deciding, um, but yeah, I love the way it came out as well. This is a bit more, bit more leaning towards the dark and cozy rather than the super bright. Um, and then you have like the more the browns rather than the greens. So you can see here again the different colors that you have. So it really depends on like the kind of mood you want. If you're sort of the same kind of planner as me. Chris Press or SBC, but this one turns really cute. And you still have, you actually have the present box um, in here instead of the hot chocolate pattern, which is fun because I really do like the present box pattern in the brown here. <clears throat> eh, come on. But yeah, I was really happy with this present box sort of look. And you got that red um, with the sort of ombre green. Super cute there. <clears throat> Again, didn't pick up any extras. I thought the girl with the red hair looked cute in this. And I think there was enough boxes for what I wanted to do. Then I picked up sleigh bells. And I think this was going into my actual planner. Uh, <clears throat> I don't know if it still is, but I guess it is. I don't know. It's just cute. It has like that coppery feel to it. Sort of the darker um, colors. I suppose you could also use that matte bronze with rose with it as well, or copper. Um, I'm not sure yet. Or you could use that burgundy even from Crest Press. I thought this was really cute. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, I still haven't really decided on my holiday play, uh, list, but we will see my lineup. But those are just the kids that I got from SPC. And now we'll go into the November mystery and we'll finish up the video. So November mystery is this really cute cleaning set. Um, <clears throat> I really love the colors for this. I've technically seen this before because I did the patterns for it, um, <laughs> but I, I totally forgot um, 
as soon as I get the patterns done for mysteries, they kind of just disappear from my brain forever. So it's a nice mystery for me too, but it's a really fun, clean cleaning up kit. And I think I'll probably end up using it in April or May when the snow finally melts and I need to, I desperately need to next year to wash the balcony glass. So out, we have a really big balcony on our apartment and it's all glassed in of like separate windows. And you can open them all or have them all closed. We keep them closed for our cat, um, but they desperately need to be washed. <laughs> it's hard to see out of them, honestly. So we're going to have to do that. Um, it's probably going to take me like ages to do. So I think this will be a good week to use that when I'm scrubbing up the windows. And I really like the colors. Um, probably one of the few, like, uh, we've had some cleaning kits before and I think this is probably my favorite one mostly for the colors but also I just think the the designs are really pretty and you have that spring feeling as well in here so I think this will be good for cleaning the windows and for some reason this girl she looks really finished to me this one <laughs> I don't know why but she does I'll probably I guess I'll use a brown hair one, but I might even just cut her up to make her into a full box. That might be cute. And I love the spring cleaning, like, um, plan here. I think it's really cute with, like, the cloud opening. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, I really like how clean and simple it is. And also, I like how it doesn't have an outdoor house on it. It's all indoors, so this looks like it could still be, like, in an apartment building. And it doesn't have to be a big fancy house, which I really like. So I think this is probably also why I really like this um, as a cleaning kit compared to past ones. So yeah, I'm really looking forward to using this when I need to do that cleaning next year. And it just came with a confetti hollow bundle. Super clean and simple. I think I'm going to keep this with it because I think that would be perfect actually. Like it goes with the colors and it's just simple and it looks like it's little cleany sparkles. Like look how sparkly clean my bedroom is. <laughs> so that is the Ember Mystery. Love it. Just super clean and I think it'll look beautiful in the spread, um, in the planner. But that is everything for this haul. If you liked it, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. Hopefully I won't be sick of voice for too much longer. Apologies. <clears throat> but I really wanted to get this up and away for you. I need to put this stuff away. So yeah, otherwise I hope you have a wonderful week. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.